Uh, good evening everybody, uh, we are New Inns from Portugal. Uh, before we start playing we would like to say thank you uh, to a couple of people that um, are here today and uh, which people who without uh, their help wouldn't be possible for us to be here today. Um, especially Pavel, Andreas, Robert, um, and people who borrowed us the, all the stuff here and who are wasting their time in order to organize a concert for us, which is something that we can never repay back to you. I, I just hope that someday if you have a band you can go to Portugal and we can help you out the same way that you helped us out as well. So this year, thanks for, for coming, thanks for being here. And this year is all dedicated to yourselves, okay? Thanks so much for coming.
always about uh, the fact that uh, I don't know if everybody here understands a bit of English and what I'm trying to speak. I hope so. Uh, I'm sorry about addressing you in English. But unfortunately, I don't know Czech or Polish. Uh, this one was about uh, the fact that we speak so much time and so many times about things that we don't really do. And we're always waiting, always waiting for other people always waiting for other people to do the things we, we wish were done, but we have to take it back, we have to take it in our hands and do it ourselves. Thank you. <laughs> this, uh, <coughs> this next song is, is a, a song from our latest album, which an album which was not possible to be released if it wasn't for this friend here, his name is Robert, and um, this album that we released wouldn't be possible without his help, without his dedication, without his money, without his work. Um, and uh, this next song is called Slow Motion Holocaust. Uh, it's, a, it's just a simple situation that we are living every day. It's like a slow motion holocaust. The trees are being cut down. We are being controlled more and more by companies who don't give a fuck about our, our rights. Uh, they only care about money, they only care about control and power. Uh, <clears throat> so, so motion holocaust where animals are just being killed and slaughtered in the name of science, in the name of health, in the name of progress. It's a slow motion holocaust because children are being raped in Bangladesh or in Pakistan in order for us to wear t-shirts. It's a slow motion holocaust where indigenous people are robbed of their, of their own cultures, uh, obligated to, to plant drugs and to plant coffee so that we Europeans can consume it, yeah, Americans can consume it. It's simple a slow motion holocaust which is happening every day. It's, if people tell you that the Third World War is simply not, uh, not, if the Third World War has not yet begun, it's a lie because it's alive in every people's hearts. The Third World, the Third World War mm. has long begun. Believe me, it's in people's hearts. It's in people's rage. And uh, the fact that a band like New Inns and like many people around the world have the guts to speak against this state, this system of wage slavery, it's the fact that the Third War is alive in our hearts. And I just hope that we never give up fighting against those who are the oppressed. Okay, thank you, bye.
if anyone knows this song, just just dance, just sing as as it. alternative and revolutionary scene such, such as the punk hardcore scene being sold out by companies and by sponsorships and by exclusive deals which the bands get into when contracting with labels and distribution. I think that this is such an alternative do-it-yourself scene where in such an alternative space such as this we can just be here all having fun and all talking about what we feel about this world, what we feel about situations and just being here alternatively thinking that 
we can build a better world and we can build a new world outside the one that we live in every day. And this is where we release our anger, our fears, our qualities, and where we can hang out as people and when we can, when we can share love <coughs> between us all. Uh, one of the things that saddens me most is when I see so many major labels coming into the hardcore scene and try to make money out of it. But they are after your money and it's up to you to let them use your money, okay? So just try to think that when you are in a hardcore concert, uh, as Bruno said on the other concert, which is very, very true, don't worry that much about technical details because this is what, what we're doing is nothing much because all of you can do this. Just come here and play and talk about what you feel about this world. You have so much, you have so many qualities inside yourself that all, all we're doing here is just trying to speak about what we feel about this world and this that we do is nothing special because all of you here can do what we're doing here, okay? This, the, this, this next song complements a little bit about, about what I said here. It's about change. It's about us trying to make a real change in the outside world. But when we try to make a change on the outside world, the change must come first inside your head and inside your heart. Because the revolution that we are all waiting to happen will not happen unless we change our minds first. And uh, maybe that revolution won't ever come as long as we're alive. Maybe our children will be the ones who will see this so much weighted revolution. But this revolution can happen. And it's not a political one nor a spiritual one. It is a political one and a spiritual one, both together. Everything is politics, but also everything is spirituality. Everything flows inside your head and everything comes from your heart to the outside. So when you try to change something. Don't try to change others first. Change yourself first, okay? So this is change. <laughs> tradition that happens in Portugal. They call it tradition, we call it torture. Uh, they call it many things and we call it 
I don't know, capitalism, animal slavery, human slavery, it's called bullfight. Uh, a tradition that people are pretty much attached to in Spanish countries and in Hispanic countries, like Portugal, like Spain, like South American countries. Uh, I suppose that you don't have that ear, good for you. But uh, this, this song is about uh, not being able, uh, through demos and through debate, to change a tradition that is inside people's minds because they are so used to see an animal being just torn to death and uh, they don't see anything wrong in it, but we do. And this, this song is about animal liberation as well, so this is called Blood on the Sand. Yeah! Woo! Yeah. <laughs> by what people used to write uh, about fanzines, about social movements that people could have books for to, to sell on concerts. And that was one of the things that changed me most and started uh, to ignite something inside me to write to political prisoners and to involve myself on social struggles and to start a band which wanted to do much more than music. Uh, if you go to our merchandise table, you can see that we have CDs and shit like that, but we also have some literature. We also have some zines and some books, and if you're looking for something special, I have a box full of zines and books, and uh, maybe I can have something for you if you're willing to to spend a couple of, of, of euros or of, of crowns uh, on literature, which I think, uh, being this movement such a revolutionary movement, at least I like to think so, at least that's what I feel it is. Uh, if you want to take a look about the zines and the books I have there, 
uh, even just for curiosity, it would be nice. Thank you. It's called education. <laughs> to do their own guns uh, and to create their own wars. Uh, the United States, after that, in order to, for the business to continue flowing, they had to create wars with other countries so that the business would continue flowing, so that the profits could be could arise even more, so that the meals and all the uh, uniforms that they do with their own uh, inside labor in, in, in his country uh, could start, could continue flowing, and um, that's why we see like uh, the invasion of Iraq. That's why we see the Afghanistan uh, invasion as well, uh, in order to catch a terrorist, which is an invisible one, to catch a network of terrorists, which are invisible ones. But that doesn't matter as long as guns continue being produced and the business continues flowing. It doesn't matter who pays as long as the profits on their accounts arise. Uh, <coughs> And this is kind of a situation that has changed over the years, but as I was saying, the US was the biggest arm trader in the world um, a couple of decades ago. Now, in order for the business to continue flowing, they have to create their own wars, which is kind of fucked up because it's your family and mine that are paying the price 
for their so-called democracy. But their so-called democracy doesn't have my name on it and I spit on their grave and I spit on their face. And I say that reason to patriotism is loyalty to humankind. So fuck <laughs> travel to South America in order to to be connected to this issue. It's about the indigenous resistance in Mexico City, in uh, Chiapas. Uh, and uh, they were they were nameless, they were faceless. Uh, they had no color, they had no land. Uh, because of Portuguese people, European people, Spanish and French, uh, who invaded uh, South America and um, tried to, to just uh, mutilate, just to rape, just to steal land that didn't belong to their, to, to them. Uh, because of that, uh, 500 years later, a lot of um, insurgent uh, groups have arised in order to, to stop this bloody trade and to, and to stop this uh, bloody exploitation. This song is dedicated to them, it's, it's to, dedicated to the people who still resist this system of slavery. And uh, my heart goes out to them. It's called Yabaka. Yabaka. <laughs>
ty jsi taky no, to je to je to je to je to Uh, we will we will play on Saturday on on Fluff Fest uh, in Pilsen. Uh, but on the next day there will be a spoken word where this microphone is not my microphone; it's yours. So where every people can share their ideas or read a text or show a picture and tell what what you think about that or just uh, read a poem or anything like that you're just all invited to participate it's on, Mon on Sunday morning I know it's hooked up to be early um, on a Sunday morning but never mind I think it's it's good because uh, I think that if we start sharing if we start opening our hearts maybe we can uh, in order to be better human beings and to share ideas and to debate maybe we can all uh, improve a little bit of our personality and about our ideas as well so you are all invited to join uh, the invitation is, is made I hope you appear uh, in the meantime this next song <coughs> it's, uh, it's called For Those Who Crucify Us it's a cover song from an inspiring band called Sunny Asim Sunny Asim uh, was a Portuguese band which was previously exacto the exacto vocals killed himself six months ago uh, and uh, I'm not trying to tell you how to live your lives uh, away from that but uh, I was pretty close I, I, was, I, was a, I, was, I was a friend of, of exacto vocals which was Sunny Asim's vocals as well and uh, I really liked him and I really loved him and I was never able to say that to him because he was gone before I could ever say that to him so if you have a friend who, who you never said you loved him uh, please don't wait any longer because you never know when will it be the last moment that you'll see them alive so don't make the same mistake that I did uh, and when I sing their songs it's just it seems impossible not to remember all the times that uh, we sang songs together and we skateboarded together and all the moments that we shared and it really hurts when you try to be close to somebody and you know that that person is gone and you never told him that you, how much you love him and how much you cared for him so don't do the same mistake as I did because you never know what what tomorrow brings so if you love a friend, your brother, your your sister or your girlfriend don't lose the opportunity yourself of, of telling them how how important they are to you okay thank you
just two more songs. Uh, this one is dedicated to Raphael, he likes it a lot. So it's called Together. Thanks for listening, thanks for keeping this show very special. Thank you very much, really, from, from our hearts. Thank you. Um, I hope you can sing this, this one with me.
Oh, 